it's really important for us to be able to share our thoughts and emotions about how we feel about somebody else before they're gone or if we're not able to see them ever again. Um, even if you know that you are going to see them, well, you never know for sure. And I have to preface this by the other night I got home and I had this overwhelming urge to tell my brother that I loved him. Like it was just like, man, I really feel like I need to call and tell him. Not that I needed to tell him because it's just an understood you, especially uh, strapping Texas guys. You know, it's kind of seems, you know, we don't need to tell each other all the time. We just know. But something was bubbling up in me. It just was forced, just almost, I got to tell you, I love you. And I was like, no, it's, you know, 8.30 at night. Eh, he's, he's probably busy, whatever. And I was telling this to Jill, my wife, and she goes, why don't you just call him and tell him right now? So I called him, told him I loved him, and all of a sudden it made me feel good. And I know 100% certain it made him feel good because, I mean, duh. <laughs> and... I just think it's important that we don't lose sight of how important relationships are and how important it is sometimes for the other person, whether it's your kids, whether it's your brother, whether it's a really close friend. Uh, you know, I haven't told Matt I loved him, I don't think, maybe in a long time. So, Matt, I love you. I love you. <laughs> I, I, I think it's kind of goofy to go around and say that all the time. But, you know, every now and then it's, uh, it's a good manly practice because I do know the definition of a man and I am firmly ensconced in the idea that it is a good practice every so often outside of your actions. Our actions tell the other people, the other person, how we feel. And sometimes it's good to verbalize that. And that's just my take on it. So for everybody out there that hadn't told your brother, your sister, uh, well, I mean, you genuinely have to love them, though. I mean, you can have brothers and sisters you don't genuinely love. And I mean, do you genuinely love somebody? It's a probably really good idea to let them know outside of your actions. Go ahead, man. Well, I, yeah, I was going to say something. And it doesn't have to be just family. I mean, there could be people in your past that you think that, man, they made a great impact on my life. And I just want to give those person, person a call and say, hey, man, you know, how you doing? You okay? And it's not goofy to tell other men that we love it. I mean, it, it could be. Yeah, but we don't want to go. We're well, not going well, there. That's a whole different topic <laughs> that I don't want to be a part of. Be, it doesn't even have to be the love word. I mean, you can just say, hey, I appreciate you in my life. Yeah. It doesn't have to be so sappy. So I'm thinking about you. And, and I mean, we all random thoughts pop in our heads all the time. And, you know, it's like, really? Uh, my, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I'm like a ping pong ball, <laughs> I'm a squirrel. But it's like, hey, you know, just thinking about you, just want to see, check on you. How you doing? Everything all right? Yeah. You need anything? Good. And then just go with the flow. And I, I think it's important because you only have a, a certain amount of time on this planet, as far as we know. And we should probably really let the people that are in our energetic field, in our in our inner circle, just to, hey, I, I, it's okay to be vulnerable. It's, oh, maybe you don't love me back. Uh, I don't know, but, but I love you. And now what you said, that's an interesting point because I, there probably are a lot of people out there that are afraid to say such things because they're worried about the rejection. I know just in my own life, you know, you leave school and you don't see as your friends so often anymore. Just the other day, I had a conversation with somebody from my past that I haven't seen in 10 years. And I was like, man, it's really good to hear from you. Like it was, it's been a long time. Like we don't talk very often, but during that one part of our lives, we were together and hang around each other a lot. And it was really nice just to hear the other person's voice, like that little blast from the past from 10 years ago. Hey, that's really fun. That's a that's exactly the point of the video is old friends you haven't seen in a long time. I, I'm so glad you called. It's so wonderful to hear from you. That, 
those affirmations and those solidifications of the relationship is is just one of the the juices of life that make it so wonderful. It's just fantastic. I, I had two older gentlemen really help me out in my life when I was uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 30, 50 now. And in business, gotten a couple of cash crunches and asked them for help. And it wasn't their uh, financial help. It was their belief and and love for me because they, these people weren't relatives. They, they were just tough oil and gas guys that would just as much rather spit on your face than help you uh, if, if they thought you were a douchebag. And man, I, I could never tell them how much I appreciated their help and trust in me, which I ultimately... Uh, it was just phenomenal that relate those two relationships. So I think it would it would be douchebaggery to say no to not say or to express that admiration and respect and gratitude toward people that have positive influences in our life. So what you're saying is like when you think it and you don't act upon it. That, that that could hurt both of those people. One, like you said, you didn't call your brother and you just felt bad. And then he didn't know and he probably needed it at that time. Probably. For you to say, hey, I love you. And, you know, and so when you did call him, it, you felt great. I'm sure Trey felt great. I, I feel great every time you tell me you love him. <laughs> yeah, I'm, you yeah, should. I mean, right. I, mean, I mean, I'm grabbing your ass sometimes, uh, but you know, what was that? I matter? love it. But <laughs> so what you're saying yeah. is there's very little downside in telling somebody that you, in fact, do care about them. Care about them and I mean, as long just as you're not stalking. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, right, 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 yeah. Well, <laughs> okay, now you just hit on. I so sure should I call? You. Should I call my ex girlfriend and say? I love you. I was just thinking about you. Yes, it's probably a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah so it's probably a, a bad idea. There's a fine line. Well, maybe you can call that person, not call them, but maybe you could just text like, them, stalk them. No, you yeah. drive by. <laughs> maybe you write them a letter. <laughs> maybe you write them a letter. Write them a letter. And you <laughs> might send it or you might not send it. It's like you sure were a crucial part of my life. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah. I don't really need any more than that, but thanks for that part of my life. Yeah, please don't respond. <laughs> yeah. No return mail, you yeah. know? Yeah. I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with that. You're saying something. Yeah, as you long don't as you're not. Anything back. Just let it out. As long as you're not creepy. Yeah. Yeah, just, as long as it's not creepy. Yeah, as long as you're not taking magazines and cutting mm. the letters out. Right. And then <laughs> that, that, there's your line right there. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's bad. <laughs> Well, the point of this short video is that we only live once. We're only going to be around the people that we really care for in this brief time. And it makes you feel good. And at least it makes me feel good to express how I love somebody else that I genuinely care for. And, you know, why not? What do you have? There's nothing to lose by being a man and man it up and saying, yeah, dude. Hey, Trey. Love you, dude. <laughs> I love you. You know, I mean, there's, I, I think it's healthy and it's unhealthy to keep uh, gratitude and affection inside. I think it makes us ultimately dulls our senses and makes us shallow people. Well, as being on the recipient end of this conversation and this topic, yes, it does make you feel good, especially when it's completely out of the blue. Like we didn't have anything planned. We weren't saying anything that day or it's just, Hey man, I just needed to call you and say, I love you. Yeah. It's fun. Just to have those conversations and know that somebody else out there just cares. And me being in the middle of it would no fun. Which you calls, always but, love. But I love being in the middle of it. <laughs> We'll, we'll get around. I love it all. I no, love we it. love you, man. See, now we've talked about it, and you now you expect one. So wait five to yeah, ten yeah, years. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Just call me back. Yeah. And if we'll you send you a one, If you don't get one, know that at your death we're giving yes. you a Yes, we'll, we'll send you a okay. messenger as we're stalking you. And then, and then, yeah. We'll write you some dead, dead, dead switch letters so when we die, they'll get mailed out. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Well, everybody, 
Thank you for joining us. If y'all want to come have a good time with us and really enjoy in-depth conversations, it's every Sunday at 1.30. And of course, join us at mysticsoftexas.com to see all of our videos. And of course, we're everywhere. YouTube, Rumble, Odyssey, BitChute, wherever. They're, we're everywhere. Yeah, anywhere there's internet access, we're there. Have a good day.